So if you need to switch up your typical lunch, smash that subscribe button and enjoy this Thai style chicken sandwich. We're gonna do a simple marinade, cook that chicken on a cast iron pan and assemble a delicious sandwich. If you're ready, so am I. Check out all the numbers down here and let's go. So I'm gonna be using a mortar and pestle to grind a couple of ingredients, but feel free to use a blender. Add in garlic cloves, some ginger, I'll just let the skin on here, some Thai red chilies, and remove the stems for that, we don't need those, a couple of basil leaves, and a small bunch of fresh cilantro. Then just start pounding and grinding away. This recipe was inspired from Artisan Bakery in Ottawa, which you all must visit. Once you have a paste that looks kind of like this, add in your lemongrass paste. You can grind it from fresh, but I couldn't find any. Then add in the fish sauce, some soy sauce, then dark soy sauce, great for color, and finally brown sugar. I just like to mix this all up in the modern pestle itself, and this makes our Thai marinade. Add this to your bowl with the chicken thighs and give this all a good old mix. And don't forget to squeeze in that lime juice. We can now mix quickly and set this aside to marinate for at least two hours, but I would recommend do it overnight. For the sandwich, I'm also gonna be using my Thai curry mayo, and we can have a quick look at the video over here with all the instructions documented in the recipe card, so you're all set up. Get that prepared if you haven't already, and start heating up your cast iron pan. Once it's hot, add the olive oil and use a brush or a paper towel and just spread that out so you have a nice thin layer. You want to let most of that marinade drip as you put the chicken onto that hot skillet and keep the heat rather hot to get that first initial sear. That's a sound you want to look for. Then, Carefully turn the chicken pieces and you can now lower the heat as you continue cooking the chicken. All you need to do now is to keep turning that chicken ever so often until it registers 165 Fahrenheit, which should take you between 10 to 13 minutes. Once that's done, you can remove the chicken and the same skillet toast your baguette portions, which I have sliced into roughly five to six inches long pieces, which is a large portion for me. Now the assembly of a sandwich is important just to guarantee a good experience. So we start by spreading the curry mayo on each side of the lightly toasted bread. Then on the bottom half, add the roughly chopped roasted peanuts followed by a chicken thigh. You can add more if you want, but one is pretty good. And just make sure you cut that at a diagonal. Then add a slice of Havarti cheese, some julienne, Granny Smith apple, tomato slices, basil, pickled chilies or pickled jalapenos, and a generous bunch of arugula. Then close the sandwich up and you have this just sitting and waiting for you to enjoy while you smash that like button. And if you want me to enjoy this, you don't need to hit the subscribe button because this was great, but it won't hurt, would it? What's your favorite chicken sandwich? If this made you learn something or inspired you to think or create, let me know or share what you made. And for more tasty treats, check out my chicken palm sandwich. See ya.